Irish yogurts Clonakilty. Try a spoonful of delicious. We have Eunice Power in the kitchen. Eunice, how are you? I'm fabulous, Dahi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You're after bringing in lots of goodies in with you. Oh, I have an absolutely delicious dish for you today. You always have an absolutely delicious and dish today. And this is kind of appropriate for this lovely oh. crisp day that oh. we're having. What, what, are you, what are you going to make for us? Eunice? Okay, so I've got some Italian sausage. Lovely. Made in cork. Yeah. And I'm going to just cook that off in here. Brown it off mm -hmm. for a minute. No, and are, are you going to cook those all the way through, Eunice? Yeah, more or less. Mm. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Mm. And uh, so this is kind of a pasta dish, and our challenge this week is to cook a meal for a family mm -hmm. for under 15 euros. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and this is cost out to 15 euros and one cent. And one cent. Yeah. And how many people will this feed? Um, it'll feed four. Um, it'll feed four normal people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I'm just saying that if it was like. My four, like my three sons, probably you know. Yeah, okay. Three. But um, it'll feed. Uh, for, it's very rich. Um, well, it's it's really really tasty. So I'm cooking off the onions. Mm -hmm. um, I'm cooking off the sausages, and the actual sauce of this is going to be made using the Irish yogurt Clonakilty um, half fat creme fraiche. Oh, lovely! Actually, I don't know if you tried their custard yogurt over Christmas. I may have had a pot or two. Yeah, I had it with the I had it with the pudding. It was with delicious. The pudding, yeah. Oh yeah, it was really yeah. good. Um, so I'm just so basically I'm making a lovely sauce. I'm going to add the um, the creme fraiche, half a creme fraiche at the end, yeah. and um, I'm going to add broccoli in here. And it's got everything we need for this time of year. Lots of garlic and mm -hmm. chili and. Yeah, so just leave this cook for a second. And how was your Christmas? Lovely Christmas, thanks for the God. But you know, we were only chatting about Christmas earlier on, and it feels like it was so long ago. Yeah. It's amazing because there's such a big build up. It comes, we're all together, and all of a sudden we're back to work. And then two weeks later, sure, it's like, oh, when was that? Yeah, I actually took an extra week and Did I went you? on holidays for a week. Oh, lovely. Where'd you go? I went to Italy and I was in Austria. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, it was lovely. Oh. Actually, do you know what's brilliant? The trains. Yeah. They work so well. Yeah. You know, we just trained around and then took a train to Austria, mm -hmm. to the Alps. And it was, oh. and it brought out the child and me with the snow and everything. Oh, it was lovely. lovely. Yeah, it was yes. really, really good. Yeah. Okay, so this is my sausage. They're kind of cooked through there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going just to remove them from the pan. Okay. Now, I will pop them in again just at the end. Yeah. I love this type of meal, Eunice. Particularly in, with the weather we're, we're having at the moment as well. Because, you know, we kind of need, we need this stuff around four or five o'clock in the evening. Oh yeah, they come in, everybody's starving. And actually what I love about it is that um, it's something that, you know, you have nearly all of these ingredients in the yeah. fridge, okay? Mm -hmm. So to the pan, I'm going to add some anchovies. Now you don't have to add mm -hmm. them, but they're fab. Okay. And anchovies give that lovely um, kind of je ne sais quoi, I don't know what I, it is, but it tastes good. Yeah, I'm not mad about them, but I know, because but it's you. I know, I'm going to wait it because it's me, you're going to try because it. I'm going to try it. I've got two chilies, two red chilies mm -hmm. in there. A bit of heat in um, there. Again, because we're using, we're having pasta, yeah. you don't, it kind of dilutes mm -hmm. it down. Four cloves of garlic because it's January. Because it's January, we like that and garlic's so good for us. Yeah, it is. And then we're putting in some onions. Love the red so onions. one red onion. A lovely bit of sweetness. Uh, to go with the sweetness of the sausage, Eunice. This is, yeah, it, absolutely, because yeah. the sausage has lovely fennel seeds and paprika yeah. and things in there. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to give this a little fry off here. And then I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Okay, lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so fennel is really good. And actually, most of the time, sausage will have a little bit of fennel. Yeah. And a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Okay. Now, you might say, wow, well, that's a lot of pepper. But actually... It's not. It works really well in yeah. the dish. I but think the we'll, pasta's we'll... going to soak up all those lovely flavours. Absolutely, you. yeah. Now, because I'm using um, parmesan in the dish, mm -hmm. I'm not actually going to add in salt because mm -hmm. I find I don't really need it, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Next, then, I'm going to add in some broccoli. Now, oh, well, the, the chilli's just, just gone. I got, it, yeah. I got it over here. Um, so I'm going to add in the broccoli. Now, I blanched that broccoli off for the reason... <laughs> That yeah. to cook it in the pan here might take a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but at home I just throw it into the pan. Yeah. Now, these are broccolini, I've allowed 500, uh, 400 grams, mm -hmm. so and I just chopped them up in half. So that's like 100 grams of veg. Can, can, I, can I ask you, Eunice, how long did you blanch it for? I blanched it for about, I don't know, a minute maybe? A minute. Okay. Literally, that's yeah. all I did, mm -hmm. yeah. Lovely. A quick minute. I'm going to put, I put a little bit of -hoo -hoo, that's man okay. overboard, a little bit of water in there. Yeah. Because actually, I was cooking here before Christmas, mm -hmm. and I was cooking a lovely monkfish dish. Yeah, I remember it. it was and I bubble. left my, I left my favourite frying pan behind. Oh, I know. Where, and where is it? I collected it today. Oh, it's here. We, we, so, we still have it. I was so happy to be reunited with. Ah, oh, well. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to add my sausage in here again. You wouldn't want to upset you like that, no, Jonas. I know, I was just kind of, I went home and I, I, I went for, you know the way, do you have favourite things in the kitchen? I do, I certainly me. do. Me, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a kitchen at home and I have a kitchen here, Jonas. So, yeah. I have my favourites here and I have my favourites <laughs> at home. <laughs> But yes, Eunice, uh, you yeah. certainly bring some beautiful recipes with you all the time. Um, and this, um, I can see the colour here, Eunice, as well. It's gorgeous. No, yeah, it's really coming together now. Mm -hmm. And yeah. next then, I'm just wondering, what will I do? If my pasta cooked mm -hmm. here, will I add this in or will I... Um, what I'll make pasta? it all in the pan. Oh. So um, I've, I've got... Um, I said on the recipe penny, but you know, you can use anything you want. Whatever you have in the They're store, actually probably. kind of a tortelloni, I think. I just tortelloni? Them, yeah. yeah. So a full tub. Two tubs. Two tubs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, two tubs of this, and you, um, not one. You can see the silkiness and the creaminess all together oh, yeah. there, Eunice, can't you? Delicious. Here. And actually, do you notice there on my board? Yes. I bought that back from Italy. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. A big lump of cheddar. Look uh, not this. cheddar, parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. Yeah, now. That looks really, really go. nice. And next then, I'm going to add in a little bit of lemon juice. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to say something. If you're doing this at home and if you mm. take your high off the ball and if it splits, don't worry. Just to add a tiny little bit of, um, of water to it yeah. and it'll come back again. This creme fraiche is really resilient. It's yeah. a great, um, it'll take a it great on. friend in the kitchen. Yeah. And... Now, there you go. So, while you're stirring all that together, I want to just uh, tell people at home, you know, that we have Max Baglini in the kitchen tomorrow, and he is going to be making some beautiful meatballs. We'll also catch up with Frances McCarthy from the Black Rock Observatory here in Cork, and she'll be telling us all about the European space mission, so we're looking forward to that. And apparently, they are trying out eating pasta in space. So, there you have it. So, wow. you know, that all went into a big, huge pot. It went into my... I put yeah. it on top of my pasta. I'm going to stir it around. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my God, it's just delicious. Yeah, um, it looks good. Yeah. This would feed more than, uh, more than four people, Eunice. This would um, feed six people. Well, it might. Um, it, it might, but you know what? Like, I'm, I'm putting a nice bit of um, parmesan in here, yeah, 20 exactly. grams. Yeah, we, we like that as well. Um, yeah, you know what? It's, yeah, it does, look, it does look a lot, actually. Yeah, there's, yeah I think it feeds feed six people for okay, 15 Okay, so euros. I made it at home because uh, I wanted to weigh everything out and yeah. measure it up and everything else. Mm -hmm. And two of my sons had it between them. Do that. <laughs> that's why I was saying, God, is it? A, is yeah, it no, a... I think you definitely feed six out of that. Yeah. yeah, but it's great, and it's always lovely. Like I'm, um, I'm kind of busy now oh, during the, the day, and I love the having the, here, um, no. I love having a little bit left over for my lunch the next day. Yeah. So. And this and would it, last for a few days. You yeah, know, and it? fifteen. No, a day. A day. A day, a day okay. Yeah. Wait, so I'm going to give you a little bit of extra. Okay. A little yeah, bit we'll of we'll just some parmesan. This, and this is right down your street now. This looks fabulous. Yeah. And there you go. I love the parmesan at the end. Fabulous. Oh, Gura Mila. One of the creation. Show it to you. Oh my. Let's so, have a little taste. Yeah, I'm going to have a quick taste in there now about it. Seems seem I did all the Yeah, it is work. a pretty decent mm. portion. And you know it what? Is. It's really rich because mm. the, the creme fresh makes it gorgeous. like. When I say it's rich but not fattening, yeah. you know no, what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's really nice, but it's not too overwhelmingly creamy. No, no, it's you know not what I mean? because that's oh, the I hot, love hot creme fresh. The like kick of the chili. Product. Yum. Yeah. Gramelian oh is such a good pasta. It's lovely. Isn't that lovely? The sausage is gorgeous as well. Yum, scrum. You own power.